Hi, hope you are doing well. Awareness of what others are really feeling and knowing to respond effectively is an essential skill for good communication. When you interact with a person, you both communicate on two levels, verbal and non-verbal. Non-verbal communication is critical in understanding subtle personality complexities. It's because humans are hardwired to give off signals of how they are feeling. And that's why reading and interpreting those signals is an important part of life's skill set. Let's discuss how you can observe the body language of someone you meet to discern their personality, their emotional state or what they mean. But before we do that, please subscribe to our channel for a constant feed of useful life information. Thank you. Body language will always tell the truth even when the words being spoken convey something else. It may be easy for people to say anything but it's not easy to back a lie up with their body language. Pay close attention to their body language and in particular their eyes. The most revealing body language signals are the person's engagement and disengagement behaviors. These convey their interest and receptivity or their resistance, disagreement or antagonism. Most important thing to notice is subtle changes in their behavior. For example, when a person stiffens their posture or crosses their arms mid-conversation, it is quite different from someone having their arms crossed throughout as their typical gesture or typical posture. A few examples of behavior changes are crossing arms, men touching their face or neck, or women touching their hair. When people are relaxed and comfortable, they make frequent eye contact. They face you directly and their motions are calm. So let's discuss the major areas of body language that you need to focus on reading and deciphering. Number one, eyes and brows. Our eyes often betray us when we are hiding what we really feel. Notice eye contact and brow movements. When people have direct eye contact with you and relaxed brows, they like you and are interested in what you are saying. When they like you or agree with you, they tend to increase the eye contact. Less than normal eye contact on the other hand reflects disengagement. When they avoid eye contact, they are either lying or are uninterested. When someone starts glancing away often, they probably are not understanding you. People most often avoid eye contact when they can tell you their honest feeling. Avoiding eye contact by frequently gazing past you shows boredom. Squinting the eyes is the most common signal when someone hears or thinks of something they do not like. Excessive eye blinking suggests irritation. Raising eyebrows betrays surprise. Tension in brows shows stress or fear. Eye pupil size is a major sign in ascertaining a person's emotional response. Eyes that are interested are likely to be wide open, whereas eyes exhibiting disengagement narrow somewhat. Number two, face and mouth. 
someone in agreement is likely to smile and nod as you speak. The most important of facial gestures is the mouth. Upward turns in the corner of the mouth are usually positive signs and downward turns are negative behavior. Observe lips, whether they are relaxed or are tightly pressed together. When someone keeps moving tongue inside the lips, it indicates discomfort. Tightly compressed lips, lowered eyebrows, a tense mouth, clenched jaw muscles, a frowned face or a head turned away show disagreement or annoyance. However, do not put uh, too much reliance into face reading because facial muscles respond well to voluntary control. Therefore, many times people can mislead by hiding their feelings behind a friendly mask. Number three, hands and arms. Gestures that flow naturally show that the person is relaxed and at ease. Open and relaxed arms mean comfort and cooperation. Folded arms or clenched fists betray defensiveness or anger. Crossed arms usually indicate resistance or closed-mindedness. Self-touching suggestions show stress. Fists reflect aggression. And clasped hands indicate guardedness. Fidgeting with hands or objects shows the person is bored. Tapping fingers show anxiety. People who hide their hands are perceived as dishonest. Observe how the arms and hand movements change. For example, if someone's arms that had been resting openly on the table are withdrawn to under the table, it's a signal worth noting as it might indicate that something unsettling just happened. And then the next thing is shoulders and torso. Shoulders hunched forward indicate a lack of interest. People comfortably leaning forward are likely interested. When a person leans towards you frequently, they probably like you. A rigid body posture denotes anxiety. When interlocked fingers are placed behind the head with elbows and armpits open, the person is very comfortable and open to ideas. When someone starts mirroring you, they like you. Being still with regular eye contact means that the person is paying undivided attention to you. When people are engaged, they are likely to face you openly with their torso pointed at you. Attempt to shield the torso with an object, a bag, a file or whatever reveals defensiveness. Two shoulder shrug means I don't know. When people disagree with what you say or what you do, they tend to create additional space between them and you. Shoulders turned away from you show a lack of interest. Feet and legs. Our feet and legs are wired by the limbic brain system to respond faster than the speed of thought. Ankles crossed and legs stretched forward show the person is feeling positively about you. High energy, heel bouncing or rocking back on heels and raising the toes are strong signs that your prospect is feeling pretty good about the proceedings. Bouncing legs that suddenly go still show sharp anticipation. Crossing one feet over the other while standing is a sign of feeling comfortable. 
when the legs are crossed and the foot of the leg on top is pointing toward you, the person is likely engaged. If the legs are crossed so that the top foot is pointing away from you, it shows withdrawal. Feet locked in a tight ankle clasp or enfolded around the legs of a chair indicate disengagement or retraction. Fidgety leg movements indicate negative behavior, usually anxiety. So these are the main areas, but observe overall. When you observe different areas of body language separately, you can read a person much better. For example, crossed arms alone can mean that the person is feeling cold. But if you see a person has their arms crossed, their torso is slumped and they are bouncing their legs, then it is anxiety. And the last bit is your own body language. The key to understanding other people lies in understanding your own non-verbal expressions. People who are unmindful of how their own body language contradicts what they say often do a poor job in reading others. Cultivate a sharp awareness of your own non-verbal expressions before you can hope to decipher others' body language. In addition to being able to read other person's body language, also give them signals they can understand. Make sure your body language is open and confident and be expressive to build trust. Use your hands often and expressively. So that's how you can learn to read body language. If you have some insights to share or if you want to say something, please share your comment in the section below. If you have a question, please ask it and we will try and answer. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.